Hey YouTube views today Peter's here. So we're about halfway through the season. I think it is time for some maintenance on the mower. Um, and I'm just noticing now the oil filter they sold me looks a little small. Oh maybe it's not. Maybe it's just my imagination. Anyway, we got a bunch of stuff. Um, it's just time to do a maintenance on the old mower. I'm gonna get the air compressor going so we can just start to blow stuff out of the way. And we're gonna go from there. Stay tuned. Maintenance is coming. All right, YouTube. So I'm gonna. You know, I wish I had my tripod here. I'll see you guys down. I guess I'll start with you. I'll just have kind of like a talk. Let's go. So again, my mower was running kind of rough the past few days. So I figured it's time just to do a maintenance on it. Um, I only put about 30 or so hours on this oil, but. How many hours for oil? Yeah, it says every 50 hours, but we're just gonna get it done now. Um, hopefully, before the rain comes. We're also gonna change out the air filter, the spark plugs, fuel filter, oil, the whole nine yards. What I typically always do anyway. So we're going to take out this filter here, but I'm not going to replace the filter just yet because I want to run some seafoam through this. Nice. And I guess we'll run the seafoam. How's I run the seafoam with the everything that's older already uh i don't feel like well we'll change out the fuel filter actually because that's something fuel filter and i got a new fuel pump as well today it's one of the diaphragm fuel pumps so we'll get that done might as well sorry i'm going a million miles an hour today it's just uh non-stop at the peters residence it's always something to do there's never a dull moment which is also good Keeps me busy. Just also makes me go a million miles per hour. So, like I said, I want to run sea foam through this. We might get some fresh sea foam through the air because uh, it's already starting to rain on me. Perfect timing, right before maintenance. Away she goes, away she goes. So, I'll put you guys here. Oh, the fuel filter is right there. And I can already tell. The fuel filter is dirty. So that's going to be a given. Hopefully I can get this maintenance done though, right before it starts to really rain. Because that would not be fun. Let's not get it done. There's one side. like that on this side yeah you know there was a lot of actual crud in here so it might have just been the fuel filter but honestly I'm gonna go this far I might as well just do a full maintenance on it because the previous owner had put aftermarket Chinese spark plugs on it so that's fantastic um, so let's grab a 10 millimeter socket we'll get the pump changed out as well hold on one second all right YouTube here we go let's change this change this out it should be perfect. Most of these are pretty universal anyway, which is pretty nice. Here we go. Not sure what brand this one is, but if it works, it works. So I'm gonna put it just like, actually, I think they gave me the wrong one. So, 
Oh, no, this is the correct one. Never mind. I'm crazy. Don't listen to me. It's probably a 10. With minimal room. So we'll get the little socket out. We'll get her done here. Like I said, hopefully before the rain hits too hard. Not the first time I've worked in the rain, but just for your guys' sake, so you can actually see it. actually fix any problem any existing problem that I have at least any existing problem so start off with this one push it back a twist I can already tell this has never been fuel line has never been switched out so this is probably the original which is pretty cool well cool and scary something that should be switched out I feel like every few years or so and let's get this side again it might have been fine the whole time it might have just been the fuel filter but I figured hey you know what I have the time now I don't know if I'll ever have time like this again so let's just fix it all It's as simple as just putting it back. I'll save you guys the trouble of watching that. All right, YouTube, before it starts to get, it starts to rain a lot, I should say, um, put some of this stuff over here. Just so it doesn't get all wet. There we go, sorry. I thought my face is the last thing you guys wanna see. All right, so let's give it a start. Let it warm up a bit, and we're going to use some sea foam. So, this is a warm spot because there's a warm day. Get you guys right there. Actually, let you reach nice and deep in.
right, YouTube, that's it. So, you're going to want to put some in your fuel tank as well. Let it run through there for the next tank or so. And the rest, I'm going to save for the oil change. So, one can pretty much does everything all at once. It'll smoke out the whole neighborhood, but at least your mower will run good again. So, it's a good way to clean up your valves. I know the smoke may not seem like it, but anyone who knows Seafoam knows that this stuff is the best. Um, Seafoam, Lucas, they're all good. And it's also good because I had a bunch of bugs in my garage, so now the bugs should all be coming out of here, hopefully. Just so can't stay in there too long because you probably die from, from some carbon monoxide. But uh, yeah, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna let it heat soak for a little bit, just like that. And we'll come back in about five, 10 minutes and we should be ready to go. You know, YouTube, I did forget to do one thing though. So while you're doing this, you can also add, while it sits, cause it's already warm, add the sea foam, cause it's gonna have to run for a few minutes with the sea foam in it. So just like this, sea foam right in. Yeah, I've never really had a problem with this mower up until recently, and I'm pretty sure it was just the fuel filter. Um, now that I'm actually looking at it, and I'll show you guys and girls in one second. Just want to close this up so that it can heat soak with the sea foam in there. Now take a look at this. Look at how dirty this fuel filter was. Um, that's disgusting. I don't even know where the particles and stuff came from. Uh, but we have a new air filter as well. I also got new line for my weed whacker because I think I'm actually almost out of line. And for a long time, I used Echo, Echo's brand. And you know, someone gave me this, but it's just this stuff is kind of garbage. Um, but we got the, we had the Echo Crossfire. This stuff just never held up. It really didn't. Um, it was kind of garbage. So I'm hoping that the Max line, first of all, fits on my weed whacker. But I guess we'll find that out either way. I, I just, I wanted something better at the end of the day. Something that wasn't just complete garbage. Uh, slowly make our way into this place. So. FedEx guys probably like, what the hell just happened here? Anyway. That's it for now, YouTube. Stay tuned. We got a few seconds. All right, YouTube, we're going to have to speed it up just a hair because it is starting to rain now. Um, look at that, right up. Hasn't started like that, I don't think, pretty much since I've gotten it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let it idle. And then install the new fuel filter. Not fuel filter, sorry. I mean, I guess we could just go ahead and just install it anyway. Put you guys like right there. Brand new Kawasaki. Kawasaki. I think it'll also run better once I put the new spark plugs in as well. So, I'm not really holding my breath, but let's see. Oh, they didn't put old fuel in here either. That would suck. I'm usually pretty good with being careful with that. But... Ooh, any phone users? If they didn't just deafen you. Um, grab a.
still going to start up for us. to the other because it's starting to rain a little bit more than before so let's move everything over here and i'll get back to you guys once i start the spark plugs because i still have to gap them and i'll find out the gap and all that so you guys know all right youtube let's put you guys over here and i'll get to your level so it says 0 0.03 of an inch so basically you're going to take your gapper just check. Mine's a little bit over. So I just use a piece of wood and I just push against it. It's still over. All right. I don't know if that's too much now, but I guess we'll find out. All right. Right there. Right at 0 0.03 now. Just about here. We'll give it one light tap. Bring it back. There we go. So that one's perfect. Again, I always try to get it right in the middle of whatever I'm trying to get. Sorry, I know it probably looked ridiculous. I'm running around so much that I'm just kind of losing track. All right, so this one is also too much. So again, just right against a piece of wood. And you want to be gentle with it too. You don't want to break the spark plug either in the process. This is almost there. That might just be, nope, still not enough. Nope. I was just about there, and then I went too far. Yep, oh, right there. 0 0.03 of an inch. All right, so now that they're gapped, let's take the old ones out. Here's some time lapse, and once I finish taking them out, I'll show you what the spark plugs look like, if the gap was too much, anything. So I haven't started it up yet, but I want to show you. Let's take a look at the gap on this. This was actually way under. Let me make sure that I got the correct 0 0.03. Yeah, GT245. Point zero three. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so this was way under. How about this one? I've actually never... S yeah, they, both of them were way under. Um, so they might have been fine. But honestly, these were like cheap... They're called First Fire. I don't... I go with NGK. You know, if you know it's Japanese, you go with a Japanese maker. You know. Uh, here we go. Let's see if it'll start up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let that oil really run through it. Um, that way, when you go to drain it, it just all comes out. You don't have to worry about it. What can I say any more than desire? 
more than just a pretty face So girl, you better walk away Oh yeah, oh yeah Only one love is harder than fire Someone who can handle me Someone cut your heart to be Oh yeah, oh yeah If you try to come closer I'ma give you some closure Before you know it, it's over So run away, run away I'm not trying to hurt you But I will if I have to I'ma tell you what I do Run away, run away Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down Baby, I'm a soldier, stand in my Alright YouTube, we're gonna start it up Let that oil go through the oil filter and see where we're at Check this oil. Uh, yeah, oil looks fine. YouTube. So hopefully, I mean, so far it sounds better than it was. It's at least actually starting now. I was having a pretty bad problem with it not wanting to start. So, I also got to go through it. There's just so many wires everywhere. Oh, we got a blown capacitor here on the main board. Huh. Look at that. Yep. I wonder what that does because that is definitely blown now I gotta see if uh, I should send that out I mean I should be able to do it myself I just <laughs> not a fan of soldering if I don't have to but uh, that's it for now YouTube I'll get back to you guys with that capacitor see what I'm gonna do I have to do something about that so if you're gonna fight me for my art, are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger. 20